Hi, I'm Srinivasa. In our previous tutorial, we learned what is an LDAP installation and a real-time scenario schema preparation. And today, tutorial we are going to learn create a simple schema exercise in LDAP. So from our real-time scenario, I took a simple part of it and then creating a simple schema in LDAP. So let's go to create in a schema in LDAP. So this is a default schema which is provided by the Apache DS. Now I'm going to create my new schema. For that we need a domain. So we're going to add a here you can see there are uh, a default one DC example.com and another one is VSystem. system. Now I'm going to create a new domain called ABC. And this cache size is default as 10,000. Just make it as it is. So this is my domain abc.com. So keep it as it is, all other default options and save. Now it's saved, but I cannot see here the new domain called abc.com. We have created a new domain in the studio, so the server changes are not affected. So restore the server. Now server started successfully. Just go to the studio and this is for the close connection and this is for the restart the connection or a open a connection. Now you can see the abc.com here. Now we are going to create organization unit. I'm going to create the organization unit from the scratch. So I checked create entry from scratch. Click next. So I'm going to create an organizational unit. So that's called organizational unit. Select it. And organizational unit annotation in LDAP is OU. And then the organization unit, now it's a group, but in our case, it's support group. Click next here and then finish it. So your support organization group is created. Now we created a domain, we created a support and these three employees also as a people group. So create another group called people. So we are going to create another group. So that's again organizational unit and click next and provide OU. That's called people. Click next and finish it. Now we have created a domain and we have created a group and we have created a people group. Now we need to differentiate the normal group and then the admin group. So under people, I'm going to create two more groups. Sorry, under support.
also admin who have a admin privileges so this is the admin group I'm just adding a simple description Now I am going to create uh, another group called uh, users who have a normal user permissions. So we are going to create a, a three employees in the organization under support group. So go to the people. This time, not the organizational unit, it's the organizational person, which comes under the person object from LDAP. And the person common name that's notation is a uh, CN and SNS surname you can have a, a user attributes for example common name description postal code postal address and user password so now again I'm differentiating so I'm just going to add a description admin user so how can we map Alex and associated to the admin group just as simple, just right click on this admin, go to the properties, copy the group DM, go to the Alex, as a user profile, add it attribute called group. Now I have added a group and then I associated Alex to admin. I can add uh, as many as parameters so I'm just going to add uh, user password this is a encrypted password so I'm created a password as same but you, you can see this password is encrypted with a SHA algorithm Okay, now one user is created. I'm going to create a normal users. Again, organizational person add and uh, CN common name. His name is Krish and surname is Krish name. But here I'm just writing a user profile description. So I'm going to add a description field. So normal user. And I want to map to this user to normal user group. So just copy this group DN and uh, add uh, a group attribute to map Krish to normal user. So here it is and uh, user password. I 
cache as a password. Now I, now I'm going to the other user too. So this user comes under person object. So cn common name and the name is Srini. Just right click. And here provide a surname, finish it. And just add a user attribute, description, normal user, and uh, here will also associated to user role so copy the group dn and uh, add group parameter here now create a new attribute called password now the schema is ready so we have created a domain we have created a group and we have created another group called people and then we have differentiated two ro two roles called admin and normal user role so that as also we we have created two groups under support now we created a people and then we are associated to respective groups the schema is ready so you can use existing schema how to just uh, import your exist existing schema so how the existing schema will be generally so i'm going to which we have created just now exporting the schema and on the same location I'm expecting the simple schema if I want to give it to my friend or other colleague or who wants to import the schema And I'm going to give it a name called simple schema dot ldif file. So this is ldif and just save as a ldif. I'm going I'm going to copy into here. So I got the schema which is contains 2 kb you can see the schema is ready you can import the existing schema and you can export your own schema Thanks for watching this video. This presentation is completed. In our next tutorial, we will see another open source technology.